Okay, guys, we're back. Um, try to do some basic tutorials, I guess, I'd call it on uh, FS19, just to show you that they've done some things in this version of the game. It makes it a little easier than back in 19 or say yeah, 19, back in 15 and 17. You can actually do some coloring and uh, a lot easier. There's a lot more done in XML, I guess, the best way to put. It. So you don't need the entire mod. Um, or I'm sorry, not the mod, but the all the files to just go in and start editing and pull it in the game. There is a few pieces of equipment back in 17. You could do the same, and I think even 15, like the uh, the Draper, I think was using for the New Holland was actually using the Case International, and just they just renamed it. But anyway, um, so I thought I'd start at the basic, and then the next video I'll uh, I'll do some coloring information. I want to start with this one just to kind of show you where it all starts if you. And if you know how to do all this, you can just start in the second video. Um, so basically what we're going to do is, right off the bat, we're going to jump into the data files. Um, this, depending on how you have it installed, what version you have, I have Steam, so this is where it is located on my machine. Um, and that, that's Windows stuff, I'm not going to get into that, just you should be able to find, if you're going to do this, you need to know how to find files on your computer so we'll just leave it at that I guess but basically what's nice about 19 now is if you just go on your data vehicles there's no like cutters or, or steerable it's all right here and is a is a better example to do the coloring we're just gonna start actually right away with this guy right here because I know I already had to mess with some things and add some nodes later on <clears throat> so I'm just gonna grab this this sewer now we don't need, like I said, all these files are not really needed because we're going to call that from the mod description to XML. But what we are going to grab is the XML and the store image. And what I did is I just have a test folder. I've got mod folder uh, selector by Dodgenet again. Um, please go support him. Download his uh, program. That's basically I have a um, video and one of my other. Uh, I think FS17 video shows you how to use that program. FS19 is the same way. You just have to have a different program. It's FS. It's called. That's uh, oh, right here. Oops. FS19 MFS Plus. Um, basically, it lets you choose your uh, mod folder you want to run out of rather than run default. That way, if you're testing different things, you're not messing up your other mods. But that's just what that is. But we're right in my test folder. I've already made a folder. Um, I suggest doing the FS19 underscore in the name of the mod you're going to do so it's separate from your FS17 mods. Um, I've already got a store folder in there I put in and just grab a mod script file from any mod. Um, it is a template to get you started but like I said we're just going to grab the XML and this DDS, the store image. We're going to copy, don't move, don't mess up any of them files or Basically, I think it tells you right here, do not modify any files, the multiplayer will not work anymore. <laughs> Simple as that. So we're going to keep this on another screen because we are going to get into that in a little bit. So this is the start. Um, I'm basically going to take this image, I'm going to pull it into the store. I'm going to go into the mod descript and the actual vehicle XML. I'm going to open them. I'm going to move this to other view so I can see both these at the same time. Now this one's basically already started. I've already done this video once. I did have my mic plugged in. <laughs> awesome. But what I was basically saying before is you know I always keep giants in this because it's not my own model. It's me just modifying uh, the file so that's where the mod, the mod comes in but I so I basically giants in BDB SSB. What I do for version I like to do anyway. I'm from the US so I usually would go month date but some people across the, the pond basically say hey you know why don't you make this more world friendly <laughs> so what I do is I go day month year for my version and if I basically get into um, I get two or three in that day I'll start going zero one zero two zero three um, and what that happens is I'll, I'll upload something to the website it's like oh man I found something so I'll re-upload it with a different version I try to keep these updated but that's how I like it. Giants doesn't like it if you submit them something like this, but you know what? This to me works because it, it, it date stamps it, you know, so you get your day. But that's whatever you want to do. You don't even have to mess with that if you don't want to. I think Giant starts out as 1.0000 or something like that. And just for our reasons of seeing gamers, we're going to call it the BD Estrella. I don't know why I try to pronounce it, but... <laughs> 
um, that's where your title goes if you want to put you know if you want to give a French German then you would add the this this same line you would just change them to FR and DE so you just basically take this line and bring it down copy paste and then just put a FR or DE in there same here um, I think one of these is basically going to be where you select a mod for the map and one's going to be where it shows the mod on your computer when you get into the game um, this is this is the important thing as well for some reason in FS 17 you didn't need to have this in your mod folder you could do the the basic well, like they're doing over here you could do the string data vehicles for some reason I've had issues on 19 that it's not pulling it in so that's why I grabbed that store image and once again all that was is that file there and that's just gonna basically hey this is a picture of your mod so you know what's going on when you're choosing your mods and when you're buying in the store which like I said this image is for showing you what's on your computer and when you select your mods and your mod selection page multiplayer true we're gonna leave that correct alright and this is where it gets in a little more advanced not all mods have these but it's it's a lot better if you're gonna you know make it once again world friendly I, I don't I'm just getting started so I only have the English but same thing if you want these descriptions to be in French you would just add the lines either here and they don't have to be in that format you can bring them down and put them here as well but just right now because I only have English that's what that's for um, and then so that's basically your functions it's gonna say hey we're gonna make this planner a little different since we're gonna do this we're gonna actually edit it so this can be used as a planner or sewer and this is gonna be the name of the equipment in the XML so it shows up in the store and that the callback for that is shop item and same thing it's just English right now and then here's basically telling hey it's a vehicle and then this is the XML it's looking at which it's looking directly in the folder and everything comes off this mod script so if this was in another folder you'd have to have that folder name just like the image slash and then the XML name and my alarm going off sorry about that so that's a basic start um, now we're gonna get into the XML side and right off the bat while I was talking about with this information I'm just gonna copy that way I don't get any because what, what happens here, <clears throat> I've seen people, I believe this is a capital L, and I've seen people get it confused with a 1. As you can see, the 1's a little different shape, and the mod won't, it'll cause issues because it's not a correct callback. <clears throat> Apologize again. So basically what we're doing is we're using code here to, to put the name in there, so that way I don't have to have English, German, French. It, it's going to all be done by the mod mod script over here, but we don't want function and we don't want sewing machine. We want shop item, so plant, and it's going to say BD is trailer 32. So we're gonna just going to paste that right there. We're not going to get into all the other stuff right now. I'm going to do some of the simple things right now. I, I originally was going to do it, but I kind of run out of time here. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to change the function um, instead of just being a sewing machine we're going to call this a sew plant which tells you it can be used as a planter or a sewer depending on what order this is so it's basically going to say hey it can be used as a planter or a sewer and then it's going to say this machine can plant directly without cultivating I think is what this is actually an in-game function call um, and then once again we're going to get into the image so we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste it over here because it's going to look for the same image right now if you had a mod pack this image would be different show all of your equipment and then this would be for each individual mod um, once again it's a little more advanced what we're doing right now to make this for testing reason this gets into the editing part we're going to put zero for price that way if I have a game that I don't have any money on I can actually buy it uh, and lifetime you can mess with that but once again we're not going to get into that a whole lot Sears is a category it'll be in and, and you can open up other equipment um, just as an example in fact Amazon if we open up this guy as you can see you know this is disc arrows and you know and you can go in the game and kind of look at stuff compare and go hey I want to make this guy to do this this is where you can start seeing all them them types um, but what we will do is we'll hit like control F, we're going to go capacity, um, and 
and you know you can change how much seed it'll it'll hold so say you want six thousand you try to keep these kind of in the same ratio sixty five hundred um and then the big thing we're going to do to make it so it's a planter and a sower is we're going to search for uh types i think it was uh and it was up there oops i got rid of it control f um I think it's category types yeah so what I can do is I can copy this and what we'll do is we we'll go into that data so I went ahead and I looked um, so I think it's the Amazon ED3 cell yeah we'll grab this guy because this one's in the planner section and what I did is I basically just opened the game and looked for it and we're going to search this for the same thing, if we're going to look for the category, as you can see, this is a planner. So I'm going to copy that line. <clears throat> I'm just basically going to add it right there. So now this guy will work as a sewing machine and a planner. And that is pretty much it that I can think of right off the bat now. So make sure that we're in our test folder before you save this. You're not saving the game file. And then you run back up here, we got the shop item. Yeah, we're all good store. So I'm gonna go ahead and save him. The mod descript, I think we're all done as well. We're gonna save him. Let's go ahead and close this all out. And you do not have to zip this up to test it. You'll get a warning that it's not gonna be in multiplayer because it's not zipped, but not a big deal, just for testing reasons. Um you can edit files a lot easier outside of a zip folder. So we're good. Um, here's your mod folder selector. Kind of got into that a little bit. That way I can know I'm in my test folder. Like I said, try to get on DodgeNet's site. I think it's in my external links on my FS17 side of the page and download his FS19 version. And like I said, uh, try to donate to him, help him out. Um, he does a lot of work. Without uh, watching a lot of his videos, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this myself. Um, so we're going to go right into the game. Career. I'll just grab this guy. Yeah, I know I don't have all the mods. So right there it is. The BD Estrella 32. This is what I was talking about bringing in that image file. So we're just going to deselect and select all. Start. And steam is going off. And start. Probably going, hey, you were just streaming. How come you didn't have any audio? And I wasn't meaning to stream. I was trying to record. <laughs> so we're going to go to the shop. Go to tools. <clears throat> we're going to go to cedars because that's the category it was in. I'll scroll all the way over to the right. And there it is. BD Estrella 32 with zero dollars. And this is where I was talking about. It can be used as a planner or sower. Additionally, this machine offers a possibility to see directly. And that's part of the, the in-game callback I was talking about. And it shows all the fruits, and this all gets added in. Like I said, if you go to any of these other guys, see how there's a lot less fill types? It's because we made this a planter and a sower. Um, so, for example, uh, planters, you can only have corn, sunflower, and this one actually does soybean. I haven't gotten in too much of this game to really know what everything does, to tell you the truth. I just know... So different, uh, looks like soybean can be done by a planter or a sower. So that's new, I believe, as well. So that is basically it. Um, I'm going to stop this video and make it short enough that uh, I can get on to the other ones. But, yeah, that's just the basic side of it. Um, that'll get you started. Um, and we'll get into the coloring and everything else in another video. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Um, we'll see you next time.